Hi everybody, how are you? I hope everybody is fine and uh, this will be a quick tutorial about uh, how to fix this issue and as you have seen from the beginning of the video the, the board had started in uh, manufacturing program mode so Whenever we got that message, uh, we got a number at the end. Uh, in my case, it was 30, uh, 34. And after uh, each uh, restart, uh, it goes down till it reaches number one. And then you will get something like this, uh, what you see now in front of you in the screen, the MPM screen. or product information not valid so as you can see here product uh, information not valid the following products uh, product information programmed into the system board is missing or invalid um, in uh, some cases we can uh, enter these uh, informations manually using uh, the configuration setting and uh, uh, just type in the uh, missing information. Let's uh, restart and get in uh, BIOS setting. As you can see, uh, let's do it again. Let's go into BIOS setting F10. So we no longer have access to BIOS setting. Let's restart. Let's reset by uh, pressing the power button and removing the adapter, the power, the power and the bat uh, the adapter and the battery, of course. So no power now, and I'm pressing the power button to reset the board. Uh, the CMOS battery is not present. I have removed its connector from the board, so we just have to uh, wait press the power button and wait a few seconds and restart again and try again to get into uh, your settings now I'm powering your setting so uh, okay, all right. So to get in view settings, we may press uh, Y in the keyboard, and we are in. Yes. Now we got we go to set machine unique data. So in this uh, uh, tab, the main tab, we go to set machine unique data, and we hit enter. And here we have the first one feature byte. We hit enter, so not seated. We don't have uh, any number there. And uh, let's do that manually. I have I have uh, those missing numbers printed uh, in front of me here. So I just have to enter them using my keyboard. So three. Uh, Q3 it's a long number X47 67 6 re J6 S another 6 uh, Z Six small b seven h seven m seven q seven w seven small s small a b small a e small a, small p, small a, small q, small a, small w, small b, small h, and d, 
capital U small e small h dot small g and capital F sorry capital F hit enter so which means it's it's uh, fine we have entered it correctly otherwise it will ask for re-entering it and so as you can see here it's uh, 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 saved go back build id so no current setting which means we have to enter it also so build id we have uh, 15 w twice C I C W six zero one. Okay. S A B M S A B M S A B M D A B M enter that's fine let's check again yes saved serial number serial number let me check let me check the cover I don't have it printed on on the document in front of me so in the cover we have five uh, C J seven four zero and uh, two V P G enter okay check again so five C G seven four zero two V P G that's it SKU so SKU number we SK number uh, give me a minute yes T six E seventy two L A A V M it's fine product family so product family no need because we have current setting we have a number there which means it's not missing system board city number uh, city number yes we have uh, we have it here air city number no sorry it's p f k city p f k city Double zero W B forty nine one L W product name. So product name it's uh, product name it's HP capital letters. Sorry, HP Pro Book six four zero G two. Let's save F ten. Yes. So we will not get the, the message about uh, yes here we have do you want to commit this product information values we answer yes in fact if you want you have to revise them one by one to check if 
you have entered all the numbers correctly. Uh, concerning the length of the numbers, if you uh, made a mistake concerning the length of the number, you will be warned uh, and it won't be uh, accepted, but uh, you may uh, uh, made a mistake. Uh, anyway, um, these informations are uh, not necessarily important uh, in uh, most of cases, but uh, except the the serial number in some cases it's necessary for for, for uh, and in fact some other numbers also are necessary like the MAC address if uh, it's uh, it's missing or uh, the city number in some cases when uh, we need to activate some programs uh, or some uh, with some uh, OS systems like Windows, etc. Anyway, uh, depends on uh, the uh, user. So let's restart again. It yes. Go to restart again. Go to view settings and let's check system information. So we have the product name, the SKU number, serial number. So things are just fine. Restart again. And let's let's uh, power off, and let's uh, press on the power button. Uh, let's press on the power button to uh, reset the BIOS the CMOS battery as I said is not uh, plugged in the board so to reset the BIOS so we just need to reset to um, press the power button like this to uh, reset all the uh, power remaining on the on the board this will in fact, do the job of re hard resetting the BIOS and let's power again. Let's power again. Yes, as far as I plug the adapter, the board goes on by itself because the CMOS battery is not present. Let's just check, uh, check if uh, no other uh, warning message will get. Display post error. The system time is invalid. Uh, this may be a result of loss battery power, etc. Factory default setting loaded. The real time enter reboot the system. So that has to do. Uh, this warning has to do with the uh, time and date. And uh, uh, that's it. Time and date. And the other setting depending on the user how uh, he will use the laptop. That's it. I hope uh, it's clear and uh, yeah, see you in the uh, next video, uh, which I hope will be soon. It will be about a uh, request. The next video will be about a request uh, of about BIOS extraction of an ASUS. It to request uh, guy asking me in uh, various server electronics uh, repair school uh, Discord server or well known Discord server and uh, it will be sooner. Uh, I think I have already tackled uh, Asus BIOS extraction for, from executable file, but anyway. 
I promised the guy to do the video. He asked me to do a video about that, and he gave me a, a model. Let me check. Uh, you can't see, of course. Uh, he asked me, let me find the request. So he asked me about the extraction of. Uh, Let me find it. So he said, for example, Asus K571GT. So K571GT. So the next video will be about this Asus BIOS extraction from executable file. And he also asks. Uh, to extract the OC file, so we'll see that in the video. I don't know, in fact, if, if uh, the file will contain also the SC uh, firmware, but anyway, we will see that uh, sooner. Uh, bye bye, everybody, and uh, uh, take care.